If you've ever wondered what is the cause of colon cancer, then stay tuned because this video is for you. Colon cancer, like many other types of cancer, is a complex disease, and its exact cause is not fully understood. However, several risk factors have been identified that can increase the likelihood of developing colon cancer. These risk factors include age, colon cancer is more common in older adults. The majority of people diagnosed with colon cancer are over the age of 50. Family history and genetics. Individuals with a family history of colon cancer or certain genetic mutations, such as Lynch syndrome or familial adenomatous polyposis, FAP, have a higher risk of developing colon cancer. Personal history of polyps or colorectal cancer. People who have had colorectal polyps or colorectal cancer in the past are at increased risk of developing new cancers in the colon. Inflammatory bowel diseases. Chronic inflammatory conditions of the colon such as ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, can increase the risk of colon cancer. Diet. Diets high in red and processed meats and low in fiber have been associated with an increased risk of colon cancer. Lifestyle factors. Lack of physical activity, obesity, smoking, and heavy alcohol use have been linked to a higher risk of colon cancer. Diabetes. People with type 2 diabetes have a higher risk of developing colon cancer. Race and ethnicity. African Americans have a higher risk of colon cancer than some other racial, ethnic groups. Certain inherited gene mutations. Inherited gene mutations, such as those in the APC, BMPR1A, SMAD4, and TP53 genes, can increase the risk of developing colon cancer. Most asked questions. What are the main risk factors for colon cancer? Risk factors include age, more common in older adults, family history of colon cancer, genetic mutations, personal history of polyps or colorectal cancer, inflammatory bowel diseases, unhealthy diet, lack of physical activity, obesity, smoking, heavy alcohol use, diabetes, and certain inherited gene mutations. Can colon cancer be hereditary? Yes, some cases of colon cancer can be hereditary. Specific genetic mutations, such as in the APC, BMPR1A, SMAD4, and TP53 genes, can increase the risk of developing colon cancer. Can diet affect the risk of colon cancer? Yes. Diets high in red and processed meats and low in fiber have been linked to an increased risk of colon cancer. A healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains may reduce the risk. Can lifestyle choices impact colon cancer risk? Yes. Lack of physical activity, obesity, smoking, and heavy alcohol use are lifestyle factors that can increase the risk of colon cancer. Adopting a healthy lifestyle, including regular exercise, can help reduce the risk. Are there any preventive measures for colon cancer? Regular screenings, such as colonoscopies, can detect and prevent colon cancer by finding and removing polyps before they become cancerous. Additionally, adopting a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, and avoiding tobacco and excessive alcohol use, can reduce the risk. Can colon cancer be cured if detected early? Yes, colon cancer can often be treated successfully, especially when detected at an early stage. Early detection through screening significantly improves the chances of successful treatment and cure. What should I do if I have a family history of colon cancer? If you have a family history of colon cancer, it's important to discuss your risk with a healthcare provider. They can recommend appropriate screenings and surveillance measures based on your family history and individual risk factors. Is colon cancer preventable? While not all cases are preventable, many colon cancers can be prevented through early detection and removal of precancerous polyps during screenings. Adopting a healthy lifestyle can also lower the risk of developing colon cancer. What are the symptoms of colon cancer? Common symptoms include changes in bowel habits, such as diarrhea or constipation, blood in the stool, abdominal discomfort, unexplained weight loss, and fatigue. It's important to consult a healthcare provider if any of these symptoms persist.